I can take you to... Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. I can't Doors, wait here forever. And weapons. All for sale. You'd have me do what? Join the college and prance about casting spells all day? Don't just walk away from me. Where do you think you're going? To the inn for a drink, of course. Where else could I even go in this god's forsaken town? And what? You think that'll solve all your problems? Probably not, but it's worth a try. the bridge at your own peril. The way is dangerous and the gate will not open. You shall not gain entry. I am here to assist those seeking the wisdom of the college. And if in the process my presence helps to deter those who might seek to do harm, so be it. The more important question is, why are you here? Oh, forgive me. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold, a safe haven for mages in Skyrim, a place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Perhaps, but what is it you expect to find within? Ah, the immortal plane. It is said to be the source of all magic. This is a noble goal, indeed. It would seem that the college has what you seek. The question now is what can you offer the college? Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. You know, I think you're right. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, Apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. You know, they say knowledge is its own reward. You... you can see me? Confound it all, I was quite sure I was invisible. Or at least transparent. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Mm, until next time.
have retrieved the horn of Jorgen Runko. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Rex! Come, Dragonborn. Attend to Master Bori. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeard, but you are ready. Tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Sky above, voice within. We spoke the traditional words of greeting to a dragonborn who has accepted our guidance. The same words were used to greet the young Talos when he came to High Hrothgar before he became the Emperor Tiber Septim. Ah, I sometimes forget you are not versed in the dragon tongue as we are. This is a rough translation. Long has the storm crown languished, with no worthy brow to sit upon. By our breath we bestow it now to you, in the name of Kine, in the name of Shore, and in the name of Atmora of old. You are Ismir now, the dragon of the north. Hearken to it. You have learned so much already, Dragonborn. Growing your gift too quickly would be dangerous. But there are many words of power in Skyrim carved in the dragon tongue. Even from here we can feel the thoon resonate from them. Finding these lost words would be a sufficient test to temper your abilities with experience. Ask when you are ready to search. We have felt the whisper of a word. Give me your map and I will show you where its echo can be found. Sky above, voice within. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. Instant frostbite spider. Frognar, nobody's gonna believe that your dog is a frostbite spider. And if they do. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan.
I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. The Thalmor Ambassador, Elenwen, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the Embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret files. I have a contact inside the Embassy. He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, but he can help you. His name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellen Wynn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellen Wynn's office and search her files. Melbourne should be able to point you in the right direction. Sounds good. Be careful. Hey, watch it! What? Something you're still confused about? Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to solitude? Beautiful old city. If you've come to Solitude to join the League... They can't hurt Uncle Rog here. Tell them he didn't do it. Position. Sparrow, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. Traitor! Get on with it! You, you betrayed us! Uncle is scum that betrayed his High King. Best she know now, Advar. You're all heart. Get on with it! Stormcloak escaped the city after he murdered High King Torik. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He Traitor. doesn't deserve to speak! There was no what? Lions! He beat the High King in fair combat. But such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords! Huh? Watch it. On this day, I go to Sovngarde. Huh? Watch it. Really? You're who she picked? I 
hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. You know, I had to retire and leave you to run the Steve and Son. You're asking me? She promised that she was sending someone who knew what they were doing. If you actually want to get out alive, I'd bring whatever you need to move quietly and kill quickly. Don't be a silly girl. Running a bar is no job. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Auntie Fida and Dragonbrew. He runs a bar, and you said he's one of your favorite girls. Ah. Still here. Oh, brother. Let's get that going then. Not retiring ever. End of discussion. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. I'll take care of the rest. Your job is to get into the party without being fingered as a spy. Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. You can't go to a party at the Thalmor Embassy dressed like that. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the Embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. Ah, a fellow latecomer to Ellenwyn's little soiree. And arriving by carriage, no less. I salute you, my good lady. My lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late. I prefer to arrive early, often the day before the party, so as not to miss out on any of the drinking. Please, you first. I... There's not enough drinking in the world today, wouldn't you agree? I will just rest here. Right behind you. How can I serve you, my thane? You lead, I'll follow. Fellows know me. I never miss one of Ellen Wynn's parties, you see. Welcome to the Thalmor Embassy. Your invitation, please. Of course not. Purely a formality. Now I need to see your invitation. Thank you, ma'am. Go right in. Now then, here's the 
go right on in. The party has already started. I'm just doing my duty. Guests are advised to remain inside the embassy. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Please yes. proceed into the embassy. Find myself a drink. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam, tell me more about you. yourself. So what brings you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? To what is it, Malborn? It's wine. just that we've run out of the Alto room. wine. I'll not argue that. Do I have your permission Heard to any uncork the... Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. There were several My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. You've got to admire their courage. Doing something like that with dragons on the loose and a war going on. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm on duty. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? I can't remember the last time it was this cold, and for this long. Couldn't have said it better myself. Been some time since I've had some news from elsewhere in Skyrim. What, what have you heard? Well, I did hear that Ulfric Stormcloak was slain while defending Windhelm against a dragon, but <laughs> it sounds too good to be true. I'll wager it was Ulfric himself that started the rumor. Maybe he thought it would bolster recruitment. I don't recall seeing you at one of these before, and I know everyone who's anyone in Skyrim. To maintain relationships. By the way, I don't know who you are, but unless you want me to blow your cover, I'd advise that you avoid me for the rest of the party. We have a relationship of mutual respect. I care little about the politics and rivalries between the Thalmor and the Empire. But I do respect power, and the Thalmor have that. They leave me alone, and I leave them alone. Until next time. <laughs> Please, help yourself to more wine. I'm See so glad you could attend today. A high-ranking official in the East Quite Food often, Company, yes. Believe it or not. The only thing I enjoy more than luxury is sharing that luxury with those who can appreciate it. But I also enjoy learning the latest gossip and hearing the most intriguing rumors. Of course not. One does not gather the most important men and women of Skyrim and then serve them cheap ale and stale bread. This is only a taste of the benefits that accrue to those that align themselves with Thalmor interests. One of my main duties is to foster a better understanding between the Aldmeri Dominion and the people of Skyrim. I also oversee the activities of the Thalmor Justiciers throughout Skyrim, although this has been most unfortunately disrupted by the war. The Thalmor Justiciers are so often misunderstood. Our primary goal is to preserve the peace between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. The, gray quarter in the worship of the false god Talos contributed to the unfortunate friction that led to the Great War. I couldn't agree Following more. the Great the War, way, the White Gold Concordat set out the terms for peaceful sure coexistence news, between the two powers. The Empire and the Dominion agreed that the worship of Talos was a relic of the past and must be eliminated in the interests of peace. But I'm sure you didn't come here for a lecture on high politics. Do enjoy yourself. There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor. I trust they are that this is just the beginning languages. of a long and mutually beneficial relationship. Fair faces and fine food are well and good, but honesty is rarely so pleasing. 
There are words spoken and words unspoken. Beware these, Thalmor, for they are adept in both languages. For this reason, I avoid them when I can. May wisdom light your path. I hope you're enjoying yourself, ma'am. Here you go, miss. Colovian brandy. With the soldiers all fighting in the I'm earth, sorry, no but I think you've had enough the for the moment. Travel has become dangerous. Till next time. I know just what you mean. Heard anything interesting lately? Any news or gossip? Now that I think on it, I did hear something rather interesting the other day. Apparently, the Red Wave has been docked in solitude for well over a month, and with no sign of shipping out anytime soon. Some say the ship suffered damage to her hull when she struck an iceberg. And Captain Safia couldn't afford. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Of course, she would never admit it is not such eyes a thing. That we deal Captain with Safia is nature. far too proud a woman for that. These storm queens None of these are nothing people. more than It's a necessary part of my job to mix with question. the upper classes of Skyrim, I'll not such as they you. are. Heard any interesting gossip lately? There are those in the Empire who well, would wish to evade their obligations to help root out I've the Talos heresy. Fortunately, those most opposed to the Emperor's wise policy have now branded themselves traitors as well as heretics. I am here to remind the ruling classes of Skyrim that their loyalty to the Emperor requires cooperation with the Thalmor. All right, then. It's only a matter of time before your whole rotten empire collapses of its own decay. No offense. There is peace now. And that peace will continue for as long as it suits our needs. But make no mistake, this is not a peace forged out of necessity between rival nations of equal strength. It is more like the calm between storms, and the next storm, I think, will be far deadlier than the last. I lead the Justitias. We are charged with enforcing the ban on Talos worship. Nords can be quite stubborn. They're slow to change their ways, and we find more heretics every day. But mark me well. I will purge the heresy from this land as surely as the flame burns the flesh from the bone. Until next time. If your eyes and your the food and drink to your and your mind is free. The man who knows how to make money, war can be a most profitable venture. You must be new to Skyrim, or you'd already know who I am. I have a stake in most anything of importance in solitude. I feel that it's time to put aside the grievances of the past, and let peace and prosperity flourish between the Empire and the Aldmeri Dominion. I try to do my little part. Besides, just between you and me, it's making me pots of money. <laughs> Not every Nord is obsessed with strength, honor, and skill at arms. A rare few are born with a gift for making money. My investments are my strength, and my wealth is my weapon. As for honor, well, there are some luxuries even I can't afford. Very well, then. There's a likely-looking filly, even if she is an elf. You there, serving girl! What's your name, dear? Ah, oh, Brayla, sir. Do you need a drink? Something to eat? No, no, that's not what I'm interested in right now. I just wanted to get a better look at you. I like what I see, my dear. And believe me, I don't say that to everyone. I'm very discriminating when it comes to the female form. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. Was there anything else I could do for you? Oh, not at the moment. Maybe later. Go far. Yes, sir. I hope you're enjoying the music, ma'am. These parts... It's good practice. Most people barely notice what I'm playing.
What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? You must be new around here. Bad manners to ask such a direct question at one of Ellen Wynn's little soirees. But I have nothing to hide. I'm in from the south on business. And if you want to do business in Tamriel these days, well, you'd better get used to cozying up to the Thalmor, like it or not. I need another drink. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles. If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Is that all, <laughs> my friend? You've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention, everyone. Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn. Our what mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively, of course. Ugh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. Although, most of you are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to offend our Thalmor overlords, would we? Someone bring me a drink, quick. Is the food and drink to your liking? Very much so, and thank you for asking. Splendid. Call if you have need of me. My friend, a toast to a Is beautiful the friendship. To your liking? Very much so. Ah, the nectar of the Is gods. You say so? If there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. Wonderful. I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Hope that it ends soon for your sake. I need another drink. I agree with you. Have you heard any news from the other parts of Skyrim? My friend, a toast to a beautiful friendship. Of course. Is that all? Stand back and behold my handiwork. You've got to admire their courage. Doing something like that with dragons on the loose and a war. Attention, going on. everyone! Could I have your attention, please? I have an announcement to make. Let's go, let's go! Before anyone notices us. To Ellen Wynn, our uh, mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively, of course. Uh, Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in their bed. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking, got it? Follow me. I'll be a good boy now. Wouldn't want to offend our Thalmor overlords. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Savani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door. Go behind. out before I change my mind. Hurry it up. I've got to get back before I'm missed. Now that I think on it, I did hear. Come on. If 
someone misses me at the party, we're both dead. Locked in solitude for well over a month and with no sign of shipping out anytime soon. Good luck. You see those robes? You're on your own this morning. Who are they with? More of the emissary's treaty enforcers? No, they're high mages just in from Alinor. I guess herself is finally getting worried about all the dragon attacks. Ah, good. I've been wondering how we were supposed to defend this place from a dragon. If a dragon does show up, maybe we'll get lucky and it will hit the mages first. Might give us enough time to kill it. Ha! I'd like to see those arrogant bastards taken down a notch. Always looking down their noses at us lowly foot sloggers. <laughs> well, we'd better get back to our round. Money. I earned it. At my own expenses, you know. Silence. Do not presume, Gisser. You are most useful, but do not presume. We have other informants who are less offensive. But no one else has brought you such valuable information, have they? Etienne, he's talked, hasn't he? He knows where that old man is you're looking for. He told me himself. You'll get the rest of your money when we confirm his story, as agreed. So he has talked. I knew it. Everyone talks in the end. Now, I have work to do. Leave me to it if ever you want to see the rest of your payment. Can I... I could help you. He talked to me. He trusts me. You'd like to come downstairs with me, is that it, Gissa? Shall we loose his bonds and put you in a cell together? You can ask him anything you'd like and see how he answers. No, no, I'll... I'll wait outside. That would probably be best. 
Now, get out. Etienne must know something related to the dragons. Who else might know? Creasy Tom? No, they'd see right through him. What was that? I was sure I heard something. Oh, please. I don't know anything else. Don't you think I'd have told you already? Silence. You know the rules. Do not speak unless spoken to. Master Rolindil will ask the questions. Let's begin again. No, for pity's you know sake. The rules. I've already told you everything. Start at the beginning, as usual. If you persist no, in this wait. stubbornness, I was just I'll have catching my breath. Why wouldn't I tell you again? I, I don't even know anything. There's an old man. He lives in Rifton. He could be this Esburn you're looking for. Listen up, spy. Know. You're He's trapped in here, and we crazy. have your accomplice. It's all I know. Surrender immediately, or you both die. And his name is Never mind. Silence. I'm dead I know his name. Slowly. Like I've already told you a hundred. You know the rule. Just answer the question. And where can we find this nameless old man? Yes, come on. I am your mom. 
I should have known this would end badly. I can't believe I let Delphine talk me into this. Let's get out of here for pity's sake. Let's get out of here for pity's sake. Let's get out of here for pity's sake. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. I hope it was worth it. So much to us to have the claw. Is that why you have your weapon out? You, weapon, away, now! We made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Did you learn anything useful? Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? Esbern? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Esbern was one of the Blade's archivists, back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the Blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Ironic, right? The old enemies assumed that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even so, we've got to find Esbern before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons, if anybody does. Do they know where he is? Riften, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. The Thalmor happened. They've been hunting down every blade they can find for the past 30 years. Thanks to the White Gold Concordat, they've been able to operate throughout the Empire with impunity. 
the Great War. Only 30 years passed in already ancient history to most people. Seems to me like it just ended. It's never really ended for me. But to answer your question, the White Gold Concordat was the fancy name they put on the peace treaty between the Empire and the Thalmor. It ended the war and saved the Empire to fight another day. Also trampled on the sacred name of Talos and gave the Thalmor free reign to stamp out Talos' worship throughout the Empire. The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. Hmm, there's no simple answer to that. You want the long version or the short version? They're the rulers of the Aldmeri Dominion, what used to be the Imperial Provinces of Somerset Isle and Valenwood. The Thalmor take the arrogance of High Elves to the extreme. They believe they are the rightful rulers of all of Tamriel. For a century or more, the Thalmor had been picking away at the Empire. Valenwood was the first, then the province of elsewhere. But even the Blades didn't see the Great War coming. We underestimated the Thalmor, and they destroyed us. This isn't too friendly with strangers, but you seem right. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. If you've never been to Riften, be sure to visit the Blackbriar Meadery. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? Sorry, just thinking about my experience.
by the gods. I don't even know what to say. 